Console players can get that sweet 60 FPS now in Vigor. Space Punks just overhauled its talent tree. Guild Wars 2 players can unlock parts of Season 4 of The Living World for free soon. And if the latest character in Kurt Spell is using too much of her own health to boost attack, she'll just take someone else's. What's good everyone, James Blonde here with your weekly recap for gaming news and announcements for the week of August 20th, 2021. And starting out the news this week, the greatest bounty hunter is coming to Paladins. No, not that one. We're talking about Sati the Trickshot. Aloof and carefree, this hunter nonetheless will spare no expense to ensure she remains the best. With an obvious focus on damage, she's sure to mix things up. Also coming soon is a map rework for Stonekeep to bring it to a much more modern feel. Both Sati and the Stonekeep rework will be coming later in September. In related news, what happens when you mix a MOBA with a tower defense game? You get Skydome, which has just launched into early access. The 4v4 strategy game allows you to build defenses such as walls and offensive towers to battle back your opponents, while each of the varied champions in the game offer unique abilities to further bring ruin to them. This early access launch also includes their new Erebus Invasion event, featuring a brand new champion, Marcus, as well as the invasion system which lets players send defeated Erebus Shadowlings back to their opponents to cause plenty of mayhem. Who can you trust in Fortnite Imposters? This 10 player mode will challenge everyone to figure out who's here to help the agents of the Imagined Order and who's there to bring down the bridge. Like other werewolf style games, agents will have to fulfill tasks on the bridge to keep it running, all while looking out for others who aren't pulling their weight. Imposters, on the other hand, are there to make sure those tasks can't be easily completed, be it through mayhem or even murder. Cast your suspicions and vote out the guilty. Just make sure they truly are first. Vigor has launched the season nine of the popular survival shooter, and with it comes one huge change. PlayStation and Xbox players can now enjoy a crisp 60 FPS experience. That's super awesome for console players. Season nine also brings a brand new assault rifle and a game changer with grenades. With an all-new battle pass to go through, a check isolation available, and new options for elimination mode, it's a great time to check out Vigor on your favorite console. Speaking of looter shooters, Space Punks is receiving its first content update this week, and the addition of talents is also a game changer. That's right, the update overhauls the talent tree for a much more robust customization experience, giving you the choice of over 100 talents to choose from. The update also introduces the first stage of the gear upgrade system, which will allow you to use your favorite weapons longer. With dozens of gameplay tweaks in addition to the talent and upgrade systems, this first update is looking quite bright for Space Punks. Elyon's second closed beta testing has begun this weekend, promising a build more closely resembling the Korean release. The second beta includes the Slayer class, updated mana awakening skills, an improvement in the overall game service provider, better streamlined leveling experience, and more solo and group dungeon play. If you link your Twitch account to your Kakao Games account and participate in Elyon streams, you can also win a chance to participate in this beta testing with additional rewards based on how long you've watched. Elyon is set for a fall release with additional beta testing phases to come. Meanwhile, Kurt Spell players have a little something new to look forward to this week. The Crimson Lily is now available. This double glaive wielding breaker looks to be a force to reckon with massive damage. She can change the form of her weapon on the fly, allowing for seamless chains of attacks. Her skills consume her HP to further increase her attack and even life stealing to help her sustain damage potential. There are plenty of balance and bug fixes in this update to go along with the new character, so challenge other players with the Crimson Lily today. If you're looking for a classic RuneScape experience, you're probably already playing old school RuneScape. Well, this blast from the past comes with another Dead Man. Titled Dead Man Reborn, the intense PvP experience has returned, offering massively boosted XP, item drop, and shop restock rates. The catch? With a few exceptions, PvP is always enabled. 
With safe zones few and far between, you need to make sure you're well prepared for what's coming. The lucky few to survive to the end will be able to battle it out for a whopping $32,000 prize pool. Dead Man Reborn launches in old school RuneScape on August 25th. Guild Wars 2 players, if you missed any of Season 4 of the game's living story, don't fret. Starting August 24th, log into the game each week to unlock one part of the saga for free. All of the rewards, achievements, and challenges remain, so it's a great time to get back to the game to grab anything you might have missed from Season 4. With its latest expansion, End of Dragons, upcoming, it's a great time to catch up on all of the story leading to this next epic encounter. Finally, we have our games of the week on the Epic Game Store. First up is Void Bastards, a unique strategy FPS that tasks you to guide a team of misfit prisoners through various derelict spaceships in order to escape the Sargasso Nebula. The second game is Ukulele, an open world platformer where you have to take control of the titular duo, searching for collectibles and enjoying an epic adventure. Kind of gives off that Banjo Kazooie vibe. But with that said, that's about it for all the major news and announcements for this week. Be sure to stay safe and keep your families healthy. Like always, you can find more information on the news topics linked in the description below. Feel free to discuss the news or even more news in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, wash your hands a bunch, hit that little bell icon to get notifications, and of course, share this video. And until next time, guys, that's going to be it for me. I'm James Blonde. See you out there, gamers.